that that plays with the Antimus observers, it isn't all about... It is a very difficult mission, possibly one of the most difficult we ever had. Because, let's face it, uh, we are there to monitor a ceasefire which does not exist, does not exist yet. I think the very fact that we were able to deploy, and let me say, to deploy with utmost rapidity, I think we broke every record of uh, the quickness of deployment of our people. Uh, there are uh, still uh, unacceptable actions uh, still going on and of course uh, our people uh, have to follow all that. But they do that at considerable risk because uh, there are incidents on a very regular basis. There are also now in Syria a number of terrorist attacks uh, to which uh, Unfortunately, uh, one day our people may fall victim. So all that needs to be followed uh, very closely. The overall goal, of course, is that through their presence, our people will generate a certain degree of confidence, which so far did not exist at all, thereby creating some change in the atmospherics, which would allow a space to open for the political process under the leadership of uh, Special Envoy Kofi Annan to take shape. Both on the government side and the opposition side, they all affirm that they support the uh, six-point plan by Kofi Annan, but when all that is said, uh, the actual discussions uh, have yet to uh, take a concrete shape. The very presence on the ground does immediately generate some change. The reduction in the level of violence, perhaps a greater hope and confidence on the part of the population, Admittedly, 300 people is uh, very little in a country of uh, 26 uh, million people. But I think uh, this is what the international community agreed upon. And let us face it, there is no other, there is no plan B. There.